Hey guys, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be decorating tiered trays for fall, and yes, I said trays because I have four of them on my table that I wanna decorate. I really got into decorating tiered trays kind of last fall. I did a tiered tray video, I can link it above. It was kind of like a fall clean and decorate type thing, so I'll link last year's. I'm actually doing some new trays this year. The one I used last year is in my pantry now, so it's kind of an all new thing this year. I will link below what I can because I know one of them for sure is available on Amazon so you could totally order it off of there if it's something that you're interested in. But I absolutely love decorating tier trays, especially for the different holidays. It's just so, so fun. Especially when you can find so many cute little things. And pumpkins, who does not love pumpkins? So I think what I'm gonna do is just lay everything out on the table, everything I wanna use, all of my tier trays, and we will just get started decorating. I decided to go ahead and bring everything out to the kitchen table and kind of line it up accordingly. I gathered all of my tiered trays from around the house, cleaned them off, and then brought all of the fall decor that I'm hoping to use and tried to separate it into different trays. So I will start with the largest one. We'll do a little tiered tray tour here. So this is by far the largest one, as you can tell. This one started at all, I would say. I got this last November. So this will be my first fall decorating this one. I'm very excited, but this one is from Amazon. Very good quality, it's not wobbly, and it's a pretty good size. So this one actually functions as our table centerpiece out here. At least that's what we're using it for now. You can really put them anywhere, but this one is so big, so I'm gonna have this one on our kitchen table. And so I just tried to gather some things that I thought would look cute on that one. Now you can see the size difference between these two. So this one's the Amazon one. This one you can find at Hobby Lobby. Similar like color tones, you have the wood tones, but you see this one is just a little bit smaller. So if you have maybe a little bit smaller space, this would work. But when you get these on sale at Hobby Lobby, they're only like $17, which is a great deal. So I love this one too. I really like all of them. Otherwise I wouldn't have them. So this one you have like black metal on the bottom and then the two shelves here. This one is going to go in my office slash playroom. And so we're gonna do that one. And again, I just tried to gather up some things that I thought would look really good on that one. You just never know until you put it all on the tray how it's going to look, but just getting a good idea. And you can kind of see the colors that I'm going for. I do like the oranges and the greens and the whites and the blacks. So that's mostly what we're going to be doing. And then these two were from the Target dollar spot in the winter time. I think they were like $5 a piece and everyone was going crazy over them. I actually did a giveaway on my channel back then for them. And so I also got a couple for myself and this one goes on my desk and this one goes by my Keurig. It's kind of like my little mini coffee tier tray because I don't have enough space for like a coffee bar or anything like that. So just have some other small items. You can really only fit small things on these because they are very, very tiny compared to these ones. So different things lined up for all of these trays. So I love all of them and I, this is just happiness on a table right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the largest one because that's kind of our main one I wanna decorate. So I'm gonna try to use some of my favorite items on that one. And then we'll just kind of work our way down to the last one and we'll go from there. Wish me luck. This is a lot of work. Okay, I propped you up right here just because the background isn't glaring from the sliding glass door there. So I think this is going to be our setup for decorating all of the things. Going to start with some of my staple items. This little house is one of them. I did see a little sneak peek of Bullseye's Playground at Target. They are going to have a different version of these this year. So be on the lookout at Target for these. I'm probably gonna grab a couple more of them just because they're like so universal. You can use them anywhere. But I just love them in my tiered tray. So this is from last year, but be on the lookout for the new ones this year. So I'm gonna start with that one. I like the height that it adds here. And then the other thing that I for sure wanted to add was my Radon Pumpkin Spice Mug. I bought this off of Mercari just because we do not have any places like local here in town that I can buy these from. So I picked up just one just because I love to add these to tiered trays. They're fun to drink out of too, but I'm not gonna go crazy and buy a bunch of them. I just wanted one for my tiered tray, so I'm gonna put that here just because I like where that is at. I did that in the with my 4th of July one and I really liked that. So 
those are my two kind of basic pieces that I knew I wanted to add. This you can find at Hobby Lobby. It's the Hello Fall sign. They're super cheap. They actually come with a string, but I twisted out the screw because I don't want to use the as a hanging. I want to use it as like a sign to set on my tear tray. So I'm just gonna start playing around and see what we get. Uh, these are from Kirkland's, by the way. It came in a three pack because I ordered them online. So I'm gonna be using these. These kind of inspired my decor this year, the lamb's ear and the orange plaid. So we're gonna go with that and just see how everything comes together. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I don't really like the hello fall sign with the like font on the Radon mug. So I think I might use this on my other tiered tray that's over there. I think that's what we're gonna do because I definitely will be using this. I just don't know about pairing them together. So I'm gonna wait on this one. And now we better add some pumpkins. I think we're missing more pumpkins here. <laughs> Let's see. These cloth ones are so nice because you can just like squeeze them into places. Kinda like that, we'll see about that. I always use these in my tiered tray too. Mm -hmm. So this is on my kitchen table, so you will see the back of it. So I just wanna make sure, okay, that kinda looks weird to have two plaids right there. Uh, dang, I kinda like that. Eh, I might just leave it, we'll see. But these little cotton fillers are perfect for like, just kinda filling in different places. So I have this here, but I don't know. Yeah, and that might look weird with the two oranges. So I might wonder that would work. I'm trying to do less is more on this even though it doesn't look like it. Like you don't need to pack like everything on so I'm trying to do a little light. I don't know, I kind of like that. This one I'm not so, so sure about. Uh, let me see here. These are from Hobby Lobby. Those are the ones that are on a pick, or the stick, pumpkins on a stick, but I ripped out the stick last year. Uh, it's okay. This one's more natural looking. This one has like the gold stem. I can't decide. I kinda like this one, I think a little bit better. Kinda helps balance out the house lantern. Okay, I think we're gonna stick with this for now. Yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, next up is the Hobby Lobby tier tray. This one is not as big, so I didn't need to gather as many items. But again, I'm gonna start with the things that I know that I wanna put on here, some of the larger pieces. So I'm for sure gonna use the Hello Fall sign. I just need to really decide if I wanna put it up top, which it kinda takes up the whole top if I put it up there. So I might try it on the bottom. I might, I think we'll do that. Yeah, I think the bottom. And these you can kinda make them look a little nicer too. But this one is not, it is pretty sturdy. That one's a little bit more sturdier, but I still like this one too. Okay, hello fall, we have that. Okay, we gotta start. 
I got, let's try some of these. This is a Dollar Tree pumpkin. I haven't even taken the tag off yet, but I thought let's try one of those and see. They do fit. They do fit, but that's kinda kind of big <laughs> for right there. It almost is too big. So maybe that one I'll go towards the back for now. Or I have these, these are the little suede ones that Target Dollar Spot has every year. Maybe that one would be cute. I kind of have a different idea for these. So if I don't use it, it's okay, because I have a different spot. Okay, we're gonna start with that in the back. You will not see the back of this tray. So that is kind of nice, less pressure to make the back look cute too. These are hearth and hand houses. I thrifted mine, I think it was like a set of two or three, I think three. And so I just, I don't know, we'll see. But I thought it would look nice with the buffalo plaid and the sign, so I grabbed it. Oh, it's dirty though. Okay, it fits down here. I don't know, does it fit up? It does fit up here, but then it blocks my handle. Um, we'll see, I'll leave it here for now. I'll try to get it off to the side maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it like that for now. Another one of these, I like to use these a lot. This one's actually from Hobby Lobby. It has kind of a scalloping edge to it. And these are a little smaller than the Target Dollar Spot ones. So these are actually really good for this size of tiered tray. So really good for just raising things up. You can see it's just super cute. It fits really good in there. I like that a lot. Just maybe I'll switch these around. But we have some pumpkins here to try. Too much white. Yeah, too much white there. Maybe I'll need some white up top to kind of go with the sign. We'll try that. I don't know. Oh, I do like my standard plant. These are just lambs here that I shoved in a little tin that I already had. There you go. <laughs> just like that, we'll just plop it on. These are filler you can get at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna try the black and white, but I'm also going to try the gray. I think the black and white's gonna look better, so I didn't grab the gray, but, oh, it's kinda cute. It kinda goes with it. Ooh, that's a tough choice. Maybe I, eh, using both? Might be much, I don't know. We might, maybe we'll do both. Let's see. This is the one that goes on my desk. So I just like when I'm sitting at my desk, which is at least two to three hours a day, maybe even four hours a day on my computer in the mornings and during nap time. So I just like something cute to look at while I'm working. So I just have my Buffalo Check pumpkin. I love these. They are so cute with the little wooden stems. I just think they're so adorable. So I for sure want to use this. And I think it's kind of too, I mean, I could maybe prop it. We'll see. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do it down here, I think. If it's a little bit better down there. Well, see, now I'm changing my mind because I have this little truck from Target last year. That would fit in there too. But I've already kind of done the truck theme in the other turn tray. Um, let me see. Nah, it's a little, nah, I think I can do better. We'll find a different home for the truck. 
actually used this on my mantle last year, I believe. So maybe we'll do that again this year. Okay, so I have this little sign. This is from Do yeah, Dollar General. It was $1, and I grabbed it just because it's so small. You rarely see signs this small anymore. Little focus. And so I grabbed this. I thought it was cute the way it was, so I'll probably leave it like this, but you could also make your own little sign very inexpensively with this. But it says, Happy Fall, y'all, with the cute little wreath. It has some greens and some oranges, which is right up where I'm trying to go with all of my decor this year. So I love that sign and it does fit. I, when I got home, I tested it out to see if it would fit and it does. So I think we're gonna do that there. And then Target Dollar Spot has these as well right now. Before they're gone, go get some, cause they're awesome. They're just little lamb's ear plants. So I might, mm, let's see, where should we do that? No, I don't like that. Thing. Maybe underneath. If I just adjust it a little bit. Now we must add all the pumpkins. Not fall unless you fill things with a bunch of pumpkins. styling the black wired one this one's very small it might look big in person or on camera but in person it is actually really small this one can be a challenge to find things that will actually fit in here so I'm kind of sticking with some of the same things I've used before I need to wipe this down but this was a little sugar canister that uh, Hobby Lobby had but I've seen them on Amazon too but it fits perfectly in here and I just like the white because we have dark counters and we have a dark backsplash as you can see our dark counters so I like to do pops of white on this one because we have black on the tear tray too so we're doing lots of greens and white and then a little bit of black I think I don't know that I'll add orange but who knows I have one little baby orange pumpkin that fits in there that would be cute it'd be fun to just kind of load it with pumpkins then I would be smiling every morning just looking at all the pumpkins when I get my coffee okay now time to start stop chatting I was thinking I had these K cups left from last year that I haven't used yet I know that's really bad but I just haven't drank them yet so I thought those would be kind of cute. I could even like take the lid off of this for now. This might look ridiculous, we'll see. But then if we have visitors, they can just, uh, they don't really fit very well. But they could just, uh, maybe my idea won't work. We'll see, we'll go with it for now. I don't know, but I have, this little coffee sign, I generally just have this out year round that I thought I would use again just because I didn't, I don't have any like teeny tiny signs for this for fall. Maybe when Target comes out with their collection this year, I'll find some, but that's kind of cute. I do need to wipe that down though. Apparently my coffee goes everywhere in the mornings. <laughs> there, much better. And that says pumpkin pie, I think that's cute. Okay, we'll go with that for now. I don't think this one will fit. Let's leave that out, okay. This I shared in my Hobby Lobby shop with me. We're gonna use this guy for sure. And he fits perfectly up top. The light, these are actually lighted houses as well. They are really bright. I'm surprised, like they're brighter than the Target ones ever were. There's windows, they are really cute. I love these. Surprisingly, I've only bought one, so that's good. Hey, a little hint of buffalo plaid would be cute. Oh, he fits, he fits. I mean, I think we need something tall right here because we got a couple smalls. This one's too big. This is the one I always have on here from a long time ago. Is that too much? I don't know. Right here, I 
swear that I'll stay here with you Hold me closer I wanna stay here with you All that we have is each other now lined up so pretty on the table. Happiness on a kitchen table, my friends. So I'm gonna put these all where they're supposed to go now and I'll probably play around with them. Things always look different when you put them in the spot that they're supposed to go. So over the course of probably the next week or so, I will make a few adjustments here and there. And of course, Target Dollar Spot hasn't put out their decor yet, so I might add a couple of their pieces once that comes out. But I'm pretty happy with how they look right now. I think they're really cute. So I did make a couple adjustments on this one that goes by my coffee station area, but nothing major. I just moved a pumpkin to the bottom shelf and the little green pitcher to the top. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put them all in the places where they're supposed to go and we'll give you one final shot of them. wrap up today's decorate with me video i hope you found some inspiration or just enjoyed watching i just cannot wait to keep going and decorating more in our home for fall so make sure you're subscribed if you are not already thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye give me love give me all your love give me all your love